Hi there, welcome to Storytime with Miss Andrea, reading on behalf of the Loveland Public Library. As always, before we read stories, we have to get our wiggles out. Can you stand up for me, please? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my ears. And I wiggle my nose. I wiggle my shoulders. I wiggle my chin. Mama, 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 mama. I stretch my arms wide and I pull them back in. I wiggle my elbows. I wiggle my knees. I hop like a bunny. And I smile and say, cheese. Now I have no more wiggles left in me and I'll sit on the floor as still as can be. Fantastic. We're gonna read a great book today all about using your imagination. This book is by Sarah Perry and it's called If. If cats could fly. If cats could fly, what do you think cats would do if they could fly? Where would they go? If mice were hair, no way. How would that feel if mice were hair? If turtles were magnetic, if worms had wheels, If frogs ate rainbows, if dogs were mountains, if zebras had stars and stripes, what do zebras have now? Yeah, they have those black and white stripes, but what if they had stars with their stripes too? If music could be held. If ugly were beautiful. I think it's pretty cute. If toes were teeth, ew. If caterpillars were toothpaste, if whales lived in outer space, If leaves were fish, if clouds were spirits, can you see anything in the clouds? Yeah, I see some animal spirits in there. If butterflies were clothes, Butterflies were closed. What would happen if they all flew away? If lightning made rhinos. If ants could count. What number are the ants counting out here? The number eight. If the moon were square, which shape is the moon normally? Oh, yeah. It's normally either round or a circle, or sometimes it's a crescent 
or a half circle. If kids had tails, do you have a tail? If spiders could read braille, what is braille? So people who are blind, they can't see, they wouldn't be able to read these letters that make up words on our page, right? So they have braille where the page has bumps on the page and the blind person can feel the bumps and know what the words are. So what if spiders could read braille? If hummingbirds told secrets. If dreams were visible. If this is the end, then dream up some more. What other things can you think of? What if Moose played dominoes? See if you can come up with some more. So let's go ahead, stand up. Laugh a little, laugh a little, ha, ha, ha. So see, sing a little, sing a little, la, la, la. Clap a little, clap a little, clap, clap, clap. Dance a little, dance a little, tap, tap, tap. Spin a little, spin a little, round and round. Rest a little, rest a little. All sit down. Fantastic, can you get your clapping hands out for me? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as high as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as low as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, Marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as fast as we can. Bye 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 bye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as slow as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as quiet as we can. For those who might want it. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye. Thank you so much for coming to Storytime today. I hope you get to use your imagination today.